we are back. All right. There was no Gemcraft the other day, but there's Gemcraft today. Um, we're looking at Field B5, which has all gems available. It has a wizard stash. I feel like this is the crit stash. So that's what we're going for. 84 waves. Yeah. And then after that, I need to start making achievements more of a priority. That was a comment that I got that I should try and knock out some more achievements. And I agree with that. This doesn't look too tough. 3000 shields. We have 84 waves. That looks very doable. Are these destroyable? They are. They are. They are. Do I care about destroying them? A little bit. Hmm. I don't know if it's a priority, though. It could be. It doesn't have to be. Ha ha ha. So, like, I could put purple gems near each of these. This purple gem is kind of just wasted, but that's fine. Set them to structure. I don't know if this one will reach without upgrading it. It won't. Now it might, it might even need one more upgrade. Once they're all coming through this path, that is a good place to build some traps. But it's going to take a little bit to get through 30,000 HP. I still think it's worth it. Also, I started playing The Witness and pre-recorded my first four videos of that. I'm really liking that game. Like, a lot, a lot. So you should check that one out. If you have time, give me feedback. All that good stuff. I liked the second video that I got to play, and the third video. Just overall, the game is surprising me already, and I haven't even played that much of it. All right, what am I trying to do? I am trying to just have them go around. It's not very exciting. I could make these loop down. I think that makes sense. Tower here makes sense. I had less mana than I was thinking. That should be fine, though. How tough are these? Not very tough to start. So one of the main things is I do need to start shooting this wizard stash and does this one reach? This one does not reach. Let's upgrade it again. So this nest should get destroyed pretty quickly. other two will take a bit more time. Really, this is the one that's the priority, though. So, I was gonna say I could swap this gem over to here, but then it wouldn't reach. Okay, I have a beam. I would like to upgrade this. Let's upgrade it, put the beam on. Give this a barrage. Give this a bolt. I should be using this whiteout. It's just that the beam is only activated for like a split second. Because I'm not enraging at all, which I probably should be doing.
These should go through the shields somewhat quickly. Not super quick, but quick enough. Like, that should get destroyed within 84 waves if I don't do anything else to it. And my giant German Shepherd is cowering under my feet because it's windy outside. It might start raining and thundering, which is what he's actually afraid of. <laughs> but he's just a giant baby. Like, it's just a little bit windy right now. It's kind of funny. All right, let's upgrade this. Give it a beam. This one's half destroyed. That's good. Speed things up a little bit. Really, these should all be upgraded by now. This one should be least affected. I'm just waiting for my dog to unplug something under my desk because he's freaking out and he's way too big to be cowering under my desk. Hopefully this does not happen. But there's like zero chance that I can get him to act reasonably. Hey, we destroyed something. That's a good sign. This one's the priority. There we go. I probably should be enraging a little bit. I'm playing with one hand so that I can comfort Leto, the coward. Giant baby. Which means that I'm not using my beams when I should be. I'm not upgrading my gems when I should be. But the good news is we do have some traps and they're doing stuff. They're stealing some mana. Everything is happening, kind of. Like, this map feels like it's under control. I do have crits available. I can almost upgrade this, so let's do that. I'm not letting the pool fill, which could be a mistake. whole bunch of swarmlings coming. Um, and my beam is kind of close to filling. I'm gonna try and let the pool fill now, instead of upgrading these traps. Okay, my beams are full. Also, my barrages are full. So I'm just gonna use up the beams over here. Now I don't have a beam for this. Hey, but we destroyed another monster nest. Let's just combine this up. Hit a freeze. So that when I do put beams on this, it steals 7.76 per shot. It gets less total shots, but the amount of mana stolen per beam is very high.
can I let this fill one more time? I'm going to assume yes. We're going to take that out of there. Cool. very easily amplify this if I destroyed this one. For now, I could amplify all but two spots around this one. And later, I could destroy this. Or I can save up for 72,000 mana, and then after that, I could switch over to a crit. How are we doing with this? It's almost done. I can stop enraging whenever they start becoming tough. How much to put into orange gems versus switching over to crits is always tricky. Well, it's only tricky now while I'm at like this point of almost being overpowered, but not quite strong enough to easily take on like wave 84. this one in here. So I can upgrade this or I can get a grade 10 yellow. Do I think I'm going to steal enough mana so basically, will I steal another 64,000 mana on a top of what I would steal normally with this by upgrading it to a grade 10? I don't think I will. I could have just waited for the pool to fill again. Hey, we got a skill tome. That's totally it. This one did hit a couple of those. I can always throw this back here. But really, at at this point, this gem should be moved to, like, up here. And this one should go here. So I have a lot less of a focus on stealing mana, but a lot more of a focus on killing things. Which reminds me, this should get combined with that. up the damage that this one's doing by quite a bit. They're going to end up having to go around this way. So I would like a slow 
Purple, purple, purple. Another slow. And a bleed. For right now, you go to least affected, least affected, least affected, most armor, most armor, most armor, most armor. I don't really think purples are as necessary with crit gems, but a little bit. Like, it still helps. How high is their armor? Armor level is not very high. Those are swarmlings, though. Swarmlings don't have much armor. I should be using up my beams. And I should be putting barrages on these. This one... which one needs a brush? This one needs a brush. Where is this? could upgrade this one now. It's a little bit questionable, but I'm going to do it. I could extend the range of this and knock that out, but I don't think I really need to yet. Maybe I do. Let's knock that out. This is when I would throw some purples. Just because they shoot pretty quick. And they can target any enemies with like particularly high armor. Although their range isn't quite far enough. That's good to know. and the rest. Freeze those for a second. Yeah, crit gem is too strong. Especially a fully amplified one. And now... It's stupidly strong. With the critical hit skill tome, the damage just goes up by so much. Still no good talisman fragments. That hurts a little bit, but that skill tome is a game changer. That means between this video and the next, I have to look at achievements that I can do. Are there ones specifically with that crit skill tome? I don't see crit listed. No. But that's okay. 
we should be able to do some endurance mode ones. A few different things. Yeah, I'll figure it out between this video and the next. For now, that does it for this one. Thanks for watching.